you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to play in Lightstep and how to debug a performance issue in the Lightstep sandbox so that you will be uh, able to correlate the issue you are facing and you will be able to identify the root cause and fix the issue by reporting to the right team in your project. So Lightstep is a platform uh, where you can observe your uh, microservices, monoliths, mobile requests and uh, it will display the uh, tracing information how you, you can uh, fix the uh, root cause identify the root cause and fix the bottleneck in the production or in the uh, stage so basically uh, all the applications nowadays is as built on microservices and it's distributed across all the platforms so if any issue occurs uh, in the production then uh, it's very tough to identify what service is causing the actual issue. Every team has their own platform and their own uh, monitoring uh, solution. But uh, when it comes to enterprise, it's very tough to uh, see it in a holistic view. So that is where Lightstep comes into picture, where you can uh, analyze each trace and uh, it will help you to identify the root cause quickly across the enterprise applications and services. Recently, uh, Lightstep has released the sandbox feature where you can uh, debug a performance issue or an error using this uh, sandbox. So just go to uh, lightstep.com slash play and click on this uh, player one uh, start. So this will display the scenarios available right now in the sandbox. So right now uh, they have only two. One is uh, resolve a performance regression and debug an error. Since this channel is focused on performance, we will be seeing only resolve a performance regression scenario. So I already completed the uh, scenarios simulation and uh, I have already uh, identified the root cause. So let us open this particular link in the incognito mode or private mode so that uh, it will get restarted uh, as a fresh. So as I said, there are two scenarios. We are going to see the uh, performance regression stuff. So here the, uh, the case study is, so you'll be uh, working in a e-commerce platform for the pet stores. So you might be part of a DevOps team or a performance team. And on a particular day, say Black Friday or National Cat Day, uh, the users are facing uh, more response time in the production and they are not able to purchase the uh, products. So one of the uh, services called Transactions API uh, given the alert uh, saying that uh, the latency has increased. So that is the alert we got and we have to identify the root cause and fix why the error has come and what is causing the issue. So let us uh, get started. So just uh, click on play after reading the, uh, the problem statement. So once you hit on play, you can see in the right side, uh, there are uh, six steps. So we have to uh, identify the six steps by clicking on the uh, right uh, place. So here, at the first step, it is displaying the uh, the graph. So basically, if you see the y-axis, uh, the time and the uh, uh, latency and the uh, x-axis is the time. And here at the top right, you can see uh, the various percentile starting from 50 percentile to 99.9 percentile. And whenever you move your mouse, you can see the values are changing. And at the top right, you can see the filters, explorer, custom data, embed, etc, etc. And if you scroll down, you can see the uh, historical spans. So spans are nothing but uh, the, the time intervals. Uh, it has the uh, tags, some trace information, uh, logs, etc. And also the operation on the service. So first we have to, uh, it says, you have to click on a request in the time series above the 99 percentile. So here uh, the 99 percentile is nothing but this blue color. So here you can click on here or here anywhere. So let us click on this uh, the blue color. Okay, so once you click on the right spot, it says uh, the particular step has been completed. Okay, 
now if you click on the uh, wrong spot uh, the uh, the status will still show the uh, gray tick mark so once you successfully completed only it will show you the the green color uh, tick mark so now we have identified the uh, the first uh, outlier request now it's time to identify the bottleneck so uh, a light step by automatically displays the hierarchy so what is the call hierarchy and here you can see uh, there's a tree view so you can expand and collapse so let us uh, expand all to see what's going on. So it is a, a service that's coming from the mobile client. So if, as you see, it's iOS. So it's coming from uh, iPhone or iPad uh, devices. And it is uh, starting from get transactions and then it is traversing through authorized request. Then it is authorizing the request and then uh, MySQL client select and then the backend service it's calling. And uh, as you see, it is automatically highlights the critical path or uh, bottleneck. So right now it is, uh, uh, we, we can't say this is the bottleneck because it's 20 millisecond and this is 48.2 millisecond. And uh, this is the uh, top level hierarchy. But if you go inside deep dive, so what I'm thinking of is it might be due to uh, database because it's a transaction server. And uh, let us click on the uh, database fetch, okay. So the response time, the duration is uh, 538 milliseconds. So like, let us click on this, but still uh, it says the green color tick mark has not come. So which means this is not the bottleneck. So let us click on the transaction server. Again, it is not changing because it's not a bottleneck. So if you see here, the uh, most of the time, the, the root cause is for this particular transaction, the root cause might be the select statement. So select statement, it will fetch the uh, data, right? So it is taking 500 milliseconds. So out of 648 milliseconds, the select statement is itself, it is taking 510 milliseconds, which is uh, not uh, uh, right, it's not appropriate. So let us click on this particular uh, select statement. Okay, now the second step also, now it has been completed, which means we have identified the root cause, okay? So now we have to aggregate the uh, performance. So right now it is uh, giving the uh, only one select statement. Now it is our responsibility to find whether this particular select statement is replicated across all the users, all the transactions. So for that, a light step has a feature called Explorer. So if you go here uh, in the right side, you can see the uh, time icon. So these, these are called uh, Explorer uh, option. So here we have to see this select operation has spread across all the transactions or not. So to see that, you have to click on the see explorer icon. Okay. So now the third step also completed. So we have aggregated the performance. So it will automatically aggregates and then it will display the histogram now. And here at the bottom, you can see the trace analysis of all the select operations for the particular duration. So here you can see, uh, you can sort. So if you sort, what will happen is it will show you the uh, the the most time, the greater time. So right now it is almost a second. Okay. Now it is uh, we have to correlate. So what what is uh, which uh, uh, parameter it is taking uh, more time? So here you can see from the past one hour there is a heavy increase in the latency. Okay. Now we have to identify the attribute with respect. To, we have to correlate the attribute. Uh, by correlating the uh, latency so so here it will automatically displays the correlations so here the right side you can see the correlation uh, uh, score and here you can see uh, plus 0.26 and plus point, uh, 0.33 for the customer fee link and uh, for the customer catalog it is minus uh, 0.37 but for the customer MiaoC it is 0.68 which is very high number so this, this might be the uh, issue. So let us click on this particular customer. Okay, so now it, we, are, we are correlated the uh, customer with the latency here. So here you can see the, uh, the latency for the particular correlation. And now we have to uh, verify the hypothesis. This is only the hypothesis. This might be the issue. We have to, uh, what to say, aggregate the uh, customer, we have to uh, use a group by feature here, you can see. So we have to verify the hypothesis by uh, grouping by, so we have to click on the group by, by the customer. So if you click on the customer, it will display the customer 
in one column and the average latency. So here clearly you can see the fee link has a latency of 178 millisecond. So this particular customer has faced the latency of uh, 178 millisecond. But customer Miao C is uh, uh, have faced 400 millisecond, almost 0.5 seconds. But rest of the customers, e kitten, uh, hairballer, etc., etc., it is less than 100 milliseconds. So for these customers, there is not a increase in the latency. But only for uh, Miao C and for fee link. Uh, the latency is more than 100 milliseconds. So this is the customer facing the issue only uh, for the uh, select statement from the database and it is not uh, replicated across all the customers. So it's, it's an outlier basically. So this is how you have to start from the uh, outlier and we have to go down each trace and see the bottleneck aggregate and verify by correlate and uh, we can uh, fix the uh, issue by reporting to the right team okay i hope this video is pretty useful uh, so as a if you want to practice you can uh, repeat this uh, steps again and also you can practice the uh, debug and error here uh, which will uh, help you to identify an error from the ios application and uh, the coming soon feature is monitor deployment so please uh, you can uh, have a uh, check on this particular URL lightstep.com uh, slash play so whenever you have a time you can uh, play around with this so thanks for watching have a great day thank you if you like my